Hi, my name's Nate Rag. I'm a uh, character designer and art director. I currently work at DreamWorks. Uh, I got my start uh, years ago back in school. I went to uh, CalArts. So my first break out of school was actually at Pixar. I started on Ratatouille, and uh, one of the things that I got to work on on that film was the animated end credits at the end of the movie which was a total blast, it's 2D animation, it was just a ton of fun. Got to work with great designers on that project. And after that project, I actually transitioned over to do character design on Toy Story 3. So I got a chance to design some really fun characters on a movie that was just a blast to work on and uh, just couldn't have been happier on that project. Uh, and then later on, I transitioned down here to DreamWorks now. I took a job down here and I've been here for about seven years now. And I've gotten the chance to work on a ton of different fun projects, uh, Peabody and Sherman, I worked on uh, Puss in Boots uh, for a year or two, I worked on, did some work on Rise of the Guardians, uh, some Kung Fu Panda half an hour special, so it's really been a lot of different projects here at DreamWorks, which has been really fun. A long time ago, uh, I think I was maybe nine or ten, I was back in third grade, and uh, uh, really, this was around the time when I really started to love drawing. Um, I had a friend of mine, his name is Connor, and the two of us you know, were in the same class, so we were drawing all the time, and uh, we went away on uh, winter break at school. We took a break, you know, it's whatever it is, two weeks over Christmas holiday. And um, I, right after Christmas, I got a letter in the mail, and uh, it was a drawing that my friend Connor had done for me of a Ninja Turtle that he got for Christmas. and. It was at that moment that I knew that I just, I loved drawing more than anything because my initial response was, oh, that's cool, that's an awesome toy. But my thought was, oh, I wanna draw him a picture of what I got. So I sat down, grabbed my Ninja Turtle, started sketching and drawing and we put it in the mail. And you know, when we got back to school, you know, cause this was before people are, you know, kids at that age are talking on the phone. Um, you know, a week or two later when we got back to school, uh, we both were just talking about, you know, the Ninja Turtles we got, and we both loved the fact that we got drawings in the mail from each other. And uh, it was really at that moment, you know, around that age, nine or ten, that I felt like this is something I want to do, whether it's comics, whether it's children's books, whether it's animation. I just wanted to draw. I wanted to draw for the rest of my life. So when I think about inspiration, I have to think about my parents when I was really young. Uh, they really pushed me to design and draw. Um, and that was one thing that uh, they saw in me. Uh, they saw that I just had a natural love for wanting to draw at an early age, and they really pushed me to, you know, either draw from books or take art classes. Um, really, just, you know, tried to be a very strong support system. You know, I had a teacher in school. Uh, his name was John Mahoney. He worked professionally at Disney and various other studios, and he pushed me to not worry about traditional styles of animation. He said, just focus on designing what you love. And, uh, and so I spent uh, the second year of school really just focusing on designing and drawing everything that I loved, uh, whatever inspired me, whether it was zombies or monsters. And, uh, and at the end of that year, I really just had a, a very strong, profound love and inspiration for wanting to design for animation rather than actually animate. And that's really what kind of pushed me to where I am now. My wife, Crystal, has been one of the biggest inspirations I could have ever asked for. For the past 13 years, she's been by my side, always pushing me to draw, pushing me to be creative and, and push myself to be better. And, you know, it's really the support system that I've had with her, with my family, uh, throughout my entire life that's really pushed me to be where I am today. So one of the things I love most about teaching is I really love the interaction with students and I love to be able to see their creativity, see what inspires them, but also where they want to get to. I love finding out what inspires them, what, what sort of design sense are they really keen on, or um, do they want to push for to work professionally. And I like to work through those challenges with them and really help them achieve those goals that they have. So one of the things I love about feedback, especially collaborating with students, is being able to sit down and actually draw with them. And not just draw over their drawing to point out everything that, say, every mistake they've made or, or different thing that I would do, but to really work through the design process, find out what their goals were with the design, things that I feel could help push the design to be better, but also to point out things that I really like about the design or I think is working um, you know, functionally in their, in their work. So you know, for me, the, the, whenever I think of feedback, I just think of collaboration. It really just 
it's two artists coming together to take a design to that next level.